One more time. One more time. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I I'm going to buy in. I'm going to believe one more time. I'm going to fall for it one more time. But this is the last time. JT Daniels Christ! Finally, finally, we get to see JT Daniels. Now, in all seriousness, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm all in. I'm all in. I refuse to believe that we can have the number of highly rated quarterbacks on our team and they're all terrible. I just refuse to believe it. I'm gonna buy it one more time. I'm gonna believe. I'm going to believe my lying eyes, I guess. I know every single quarterback we trot out onto the field in the Kirby Smart era that puts a UGA helmet on has looked terrible. Even quarterbacks that we know are not terrible because they've gone on to be great other places or they're currently in the NFL. Jacob Eason, uh, Justin Fields, uh, whatever. Uh, I'm... I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm going all in one more time on JT Daniels Christ. But this is the last time, Kirby. What's JT Daniels going to do this week? He's getting the start Saturday against Mississippi State. What can we expect? I don't know what we can expect. Uh, I don't know what we should think is going to happen. But like I said, I'm falling for it one more time. JT Daniels is going to come out and play great on Saturday. I'm all in. I'm 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 all I'm I'm up I'm up to here in. I'm, I'm right in the deep end. JT Daniels is going to come out and play good. Now, what does good look like? I've mentioned this a couple times on the live show. What if JT Daniels comes out on Saturday and go? And I'm not even going to say anything dumb or or crazy. What if he comes out on Saturday and he's 18 of 25 for 240 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception. That's not crazy numbers. That's honestly pretty average in modern college football. 18 of 25, 230, 240, three touchdowns, and an interception. Let's, let's just say, it's not like I'm saying he's going to throw for 500 and, and, and five touchdowns. 240 yards, 18 of 25, three touchdowns, and an interception. That would be pretty average in, in, in modern football. But for Georgia, my mind would be completely blown. I'm buying in on the hype of JT Daniels. Put me down. 18 of 25, 230 yards, three touchdowns and interception. It's going to be interesting if that happens. How's Kirby going to handle that? Well, we already know. what you know. Kirby's going to look like an absolute fool if that happens. He's going to come out and probably say, well, JT Daniels wasn't ready and we wanted him, but none of that is true. JT Daniels has been ready to go since the week after the Arkansas game, period. That's just all there is to it. I don't want to hear nothing about his knee. His knee was fine. You don't dress players out and, and, and bring them on away games if they're, if they're not physically able to play. The guy could have played for whatever reason. Kirby chose not to. Stetson's his boy, whatever. Uh, Dewan Mathis, whatever. I'm buying in one more time, Kirby. I'm all in. I'm a fan. That's short for fanatic. Plus, I'm delusional uh, and pretty much an idiot. So I'm I'm with you. I'm you put me down. I'm on the JT Daniels train. I think JT Daniels is going to come out this Saturday at home in Athens and have a great game. And but please keep in mind, like I said, great is a relative term when you're talking about UJQBs. No way. He, I know. I'm not even going to pretend. Uh, like he's going to come out and put up Trevor Lawrence numbers or Justin Fields numbers or Kyle Trask or Mac Jones. For, no, forget that. Forget that. Look at the Florida game. Georgia played two quarterbacks. We were 9 of 29. Oh, my God. It hurts to say that out loud. 9 of 29 in 2020 for 112 yards and a million interceptions, whatever it was. So, again, 18 of 25 for JT Daniels this Saturday. 230 yards, three touchdowns and an interception. JT Daniels Christ, George is going to roll in this game. Hype and hate video tomorrow. This is more of a serious video about the quarterback, uh, about the quarterback thing. Black jerseys maybe this weekend. Uh, you know, this is getting to be ridiculous too with UGA, the whole black jerseys thing. It, it's they, they, they just make way too big of a deal about the black jerseys, and then it becomes this whole thing every year. We're going to wear the black jerseys. They're going to wear the black jerseys. Then you got you know uh, you know 
half the Georgia fans mentally ill. I don't want to wear no black jerseys. We lose every time we wear the black jerseys. We've won 75% of our games in black jerseys. Literally lost once. You can't tell these people anything, though, but uh, I don't know. JT Daniels, I saw this coming last week, you know, and then that game was canceled uh, or postponed or whatever on account of the Rona. Uh, you know, Stetson Bennett was hurt. He was unable to play last week. I, I guess Stetson Bennett must be unavailable to play this week, too. That's the only legitimate logical explanation I can think of for Kirby Smart actually doing what he should have done a long time ago. Oh, it's just playing JT Daniels. I'm going, I, I'm in. I'm falling for it again. Everybody can show up and laugh at me Saturday evening uh, or Saturday night. This is a primetime game, 7 o'clock, 7.30, primetime game. Everybody can show up. I'll be here after the game on Saturday and everyone can point and laugh at me that I got tricked again. I fell for it again. Ha, ah, ha, ha. You talked up JT Daniels and then he came out and crapped to bed. I'll be here to eat my medicine if, uh, if that's what happens, but that's not what's happening. I'm all in, JT Daniels Christ. And and honestly, we need, we God, Georgia fans, we need this to work out. We really, really need this to work out. I hear all, all y'all, I, I, I hear and read all the Brock Vandergriff stuff, and I get that. The guy, he's going to be a true freshman next year. We don't know what Brock Vandergriff's going to look like next year. We don't know if Brock Vandergriff's ever going to pan out or not. He might, he might not. We need a good quarterback now. We need JT Daniels to play well in this game and next week against South Carolina and the week after that against Vandy and the week after that against Mizzou and in the bowl game. Why? We do not need, we do not need a, a quarterback controversy this offseason. We don't. JT Daniels has got to come out and play well enough in this game and the remaining games this season so that we can know next offseason who the quarterback is. I, 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 if we're in a situation next offseason where we're, we're praying that Brock Vandergriff can complete a pass, it's just going to be a disaster. I, I don't think I need to remind you, Georgia fans, but we open up with Clemson um, next year in Charlotte. And you say, well, they're losing Trevor Lawrence. I know. Uh, but the ukulele, th that freshman they got, he's already started two games. He's played in several other games. He comes out and throws for 300-something yards every time they put him in. We got to know who the quarterback is. We don't need somebody that good, I guess. We're, we're never going to get anybody that good. Uh, and if we do, they're going to transfer to Ohio State. But we need to know who the quarterback is. We need JT Daniels to come out and play good in this game. Uh, football gods, please. Uncle Lou is begging. Give us a quarterback. Give us a quarterback. Let JT Daniels be the man. Please. Please. I'm asking. I've been good this year. I went and saw Santa in the mall earlier this week. He told me I've been good. He told me I'm getting whatever I want for Christmas. And what I want is for JT Daniels Christ to come out and look like he knows what he's doing. That's it. I'm not asking for Trevor Lawrence. I'm not asking for Justin Fields or Trask or Mac Jones or any of these great quarterbacks. I'm just asking for a competent QB that can hit a wide open receiver 35 yards downfield. Please, football gods, give that to Uncle Lou. Please. I'm all in. I'm falling for it again. I'm buying. Put me down. Black jerseys. At home. Mississippi State. JT Daniels Christ. Have a good day.